Hey, it's Baron Peacock. I'm here at the Dallas White Rock Marathon here in front of the American Airlines Center. Uh, there's obviously a sea of humanity here today. There's about 16,000 marathon participants today, about which uh, 5,000 of them are marathoners, and the rest are relay and half marathoners. It's going to be a fantastic day today. It's a cool, brisk 50 degrees, but it's supposed to warm up to like 65, so it's a perfect day for running a marathon. The marathon goes around White Rock Lake, which is about 10 miles of the marathon course. So about mile nine, you hit White Rock Lake. You go all the way around the lake, which is about 10 miles. By that time, you're about at mile 19 or 20 or so. And then you just have to shuffle back to the finish from there. So it's gonna be a fun day today. Uh, I'll catch back with you about right at the start and we'll see what's going on from there. Here we are at the start. Get ready to go. Get the pyrotechnics going here in Dallas. Woohoo! Check back with you at five miles. Gonna be a good thing. Well, I just passed mile one, and my foot is hurting because about a week ago I was running at night and I stepped in a pothole and totally twisted my ankle and my right foot. So, of course it's already hurting. Oh, the drama of it all. So, we'll see what happens. One thing I've learned is that once you get to like three miles, four miles, five miles, then things like that tend to work themselves out. A lot of times you may have a few little aches and pains, but hopefully once the blood flow starts, the blood flow starts, then a lot of times it can kind of heal itself. So we'll see what happens. I'm thinking it's going to be good. Thinking positively. There's the bells. Well, there's mile five. My ankle's thinking a little bit better, but it still hurts. But like I was thinking earlier, the blood flow definitely helped. It always helps with aches and pains. So I'm feeling a little better. It's definitely not 100%, but that's okay. It's enough to hopefully last and let me cruise in. Definitely not gonna push any marathon record paces today, but that's okay. It's all about the finish, right? So looking pretty good. <laughs> Did a lot of stretching this morning. Some people have said that stretching is maybe not so good, but it's essential for me. I think some people, I think a lot of people really would probably be better off if they stretched. Especially the, especially the calves. Stretch the calves out on a curb or stairs. And that will help keep you from getting cramps in your calves. So, looking good. Check back with you probably at either 10 or the half, depending on. Like, all right. I made it to the halfway point. Put it in my iPhone, my iPod. I mean, just to uh, give myself a little reward for uh, getting here, considering that my foot's been hurting, but it's feeling much better now. A little blood flow always helps. So we're looking pretty good now. We're on the other side of Wet Rock Lake. Crowd support. All right, we're at mile 18 and a half, almost 19. We just finally finished up with White Rock Lake. Man, that was a long way. Cheryl Rao, she said, that is a big lake, Perrin. Cheryl, you were right. Shramo Lamardino, that was a long way. <laughs> you know, woo. Luckily though, I'm feeling okay. Not feeling like really horrible, just mildly horrible. Hey, what's up, man? This is at txkisd.net. Will do. T-A-B-I-S-S at txkisd.net. Appreciate you, baby. No well, it's going to be on we are. YouTube under Dallas White Rock Marathon. You can find it. Right. You're doing good, man. Yeah. All right. So, we just passed 19. And apparently, 
according to the signs, we're approaching Dolly Parton Hills. So, let's see what this looks like. Oh my. Wow. That's impressive. Woo! Oh, check it out. Dolly Parton Hills. Very impressive. I'm not sure if that motivates me or makes me queasy. Either way, it was slightly entertaining, which is all you need to get to another few steps. And that's all it is really when you're running a marathon. You just think about the next few steps in front of you, just the next mile, the next two miles. Don't think of it any more than that. We're at 19, but I don't want to think, oh, I got to go another seven miles. I just think I'm going to get to 20, and I'm going to cruise it into 22, and then 24. And I'm there. And that's the way you do it. See it. Number 23. Hey, this is Grand Peak. I'm here with Jay Freeman of Imprimis Staffing. And uh, I was just about to pitch him on Open Rec. He was telling me what kind of staffing he does. Oh, yeah, and we do IT staffing. We do everything that takes place in the office. We do creative and marketing. And you have offices here in Dallas. Dallas, Fort Worth, Houston, and Austin. Awesome. Yeah. Is this the first time that you've ever been sold anything in the middle of a marathon? It is. <laughs> now you have to buy it. Uh, hold on. <laughs> I'll, I'll send it to you. Have okay. a good marathon. Okay, brother. Thanks a bunch. Good All to right. meet you. All right. Mile 22. And uh, thank you. I feel somewhat horrible still, but as they say, if the bone ain't showing, keep on going. And uh, as the ultra runners say, you start off slow and then taper, and that's what my strategy was. So I'm still moving, putting one foot proverbially in front of the other, just like that. Woo! Good job. <laughs> well, now I'm like a free train running. They can't stop me. And. Uh, if you ever decide to run a marathon, just keep it in mind. You can do it. Just keep on moving forward. If you have to walk a little bit, no big deal. Rest, walk, keep on going. It's all about finishing. Only just a tiny few of us are, not, me not included, are ever able to run a three hour below a marathon. Jim Tornes did that at the age of 55. So. Being 38, I guess I have a little time to try to catch up with him. But most of everybody else just needs to finish. All right, there's 26. We made it. It's been fun. Dallas Wet Rock Marathon. You know what happens next? As soon as we can see the finish line, you gotta use whatever energy you have left. It's gonna be soon. It is. There we go. Hold on, baby. All you got. Don't leave anything out there. Woo! So we had a great marathon today. It was cool and nice. It's up to about, I think, 65 degrees, something like that. Uh, my ankle held up. I was thinking that it might not. It was really sore over the first three miles. Then it got better, and uh, it was just kind of mildly annoying after that. I managed to finish in five hours exactly. So that's pretty sweet. I'm happy with that considering. And uh, it's a great day for a marathon. Next time you can come with me. And uh, this is Parent Peak out here at the Dallas White Rock Marathon saying, you too can do 26.2.